it's your misfortune and none of my own. Every tie I owe, get along, you little doggie. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Back to the colorful and exciting days of the old western frontier. A stagecoach rumbled along the dusty trail. Get along there! Get up, you lazy cargoes! Get up there! Disruption! Get up there! Go on! Keep going, boys! It's a stagecoach burning up. You mean it was a stagecoach, Whitey? Yo, I think it was them redskins, by God, Hey, That's right, partner. James. Ah, it was redskins, all right. Howdy, Lightman. Well, Calamity, how are you? Can't lift it's a woman with men's clothing on. That's right, Whitey, and she's one of the most famous women on the plains. Whitey, meet up with Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane, you believe me. <laughs> Yes, Calamity Jane earned a place among the heroic characters who lived, fought, and died in the wild and woolly country of the old western frontier. Indian and army scout, and driver of freighters and stagecoaches, a fearless and rugged woman who chose the hardships of a man's life in a land infested with outlaws, desperados, and hostile Indian tribes, she lived in those stirring days when the brave United States Marshals were helping to establish and maintain law and order on the plains. She knew the dangers of the men who drove the early stagecoaches, holed up by the road agents and outlaw gangs and attacked by Indians. We return to those colorful days in the adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Attracted by distant shots, the Marshal and his deputy raced along the stage trail and found a stagecoach burning. They heard a voice and Lightning recognized his old friend, Calamity Jane. Well, the, the, the fire's almost out, no Lightning. There ain't much left to that stagecoach, by golly. Yeah. Were you carrying any passengers, Calamity? Sure. Two men. Two men? Where are they? In that fire. Burned up. What? Burned alive? No, they wasn't burned alive. Rifle bullets got them first. Well, Calamity, suppose you tell us what happened. Sure. I heard they were looking for drivers in the Cedarville stage line. Yeah? So I went to Mark Simpson. He's the owner and sheriff of Cedarville. Yeah? He said it's how they've been having trouble with holdups. Said it was the Redskins. Didn't figure he'd put a woman on, but there weren't nobody else, so I got the job. Oh, I see. But what happened out there? Well, I'm a-getting to that. Well, this was my first trip. Had two men for passengers, a Wells Fargo box and the mail. When we got there, them red devils come a-swooping out of them trees and yonder and began a-shooting. Any idea what tribe they was? Well, it was pretty dark, and besides, I didn't have much time to look close. I dropped down, but my foot slipped, and I went head first into the road. Yo, but how did you get the weed in? When I hit the ground, I started rolling down the bank into the brush. Didn't they come after you? Huh, they had. I don't reckon I'd be here talking to you. Nope, they must have forgot me. They was too busy killing the two men and breaking open the box and mail. And then they set fire to the coach and rode off. How many do you figure there was? Mm, about ten or so. About ten, huh? Gee, Lightning, look. Here's a bag on the ground. Wait, I picked it up. Let me see it, Waddy. 
Oh, hell you are. Now, that's the mail pouch. Yeah, and it's been rifled clean. Maybe they threw the mail in the fire. No. I got a hunch they took it with them. Calamity, you say this stage line heads up at uh, Cedar. Uh, yep, like I told you. It's owned by Mark Simpson, and he's the sheriff, too. Well, there ain't much we can do here right now. Reckon we better mosey into Cedarville and break the news to Mort. <laughs> Took on a woman to drive the stage, eh, Mark? Sure, sure. I couldn't get nobody else. Since them blasted redskins starting to hold up the stages, uh, ain't a man in town willing to risk his neck. Well, appears like this is one time the men got more sense than the women. Yeah, maybe so. But this female is more man than she is woman. Yeah, what do you mean? Well, she wears a man's clothes. She can handle a team of horses and crack a stage driver's whip with the best of them. And she ain't afeard of nothing. Uh, where'd she come from? What's her name? Well, uh, said she come from the Black Hills, around Deadwood. Calls herself Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane. Yeah, yeah, I heard of her. They say she's a regular wildcat when she gets mad. Well, I ain't hoping that she meets up with no redskins, but I reckon she can take care of herself if she does. Say, uh... Have you reported these Indian hold up to the troopers? Sure, sure. I went over to Fort Anderson and told Colonel Steele. Yeah, what did he say? Well, he said he thought it might be some of Chief Wolf Paw's work. Yeah, Wolf Paw's a bad Indian, all right. Yeah, but if the troopers don't get them red devils soon, I'll be losing all my business. Like as not, I'll be losing the Wells Fargo and government contract. Uh, well, Mort, uh, of course I know it's a bad time to buy a stagecoach line, but... Uh... My offer to buy yours is still good. Oh, sure, sure. And if I sold out at your figure, Mike, I'd be giving it to you for next to nothing. Better think it over, Mort. Another hold up, and I'm likely to change my mind. Well, I'm going to wait and see if the troopers catch up with Wolf Paul. Come on, Jim. Come on, boy. Right behind you. Ah, howdy, Mr. Simpson. Well, calamity. Hey, what on earth are you doing here? Where's the stage? Not on the trail. On the trail? You mean you was held up? Yep. Redskins? Yep. They come at us near Bear Creek. Killed the two passengers, robbed the box, mailed, and burned up the coach. Suffering catfish. But how come they didn't get you? Fell off the coach and rolled into the brush. Then these two Jaspers came along, and here we are. Hey, did you see the hold-up, mister? No, we heard the shot, but when we got there, the coach was nearly burned to the ground. You see, uh, Calamity, here's an old friend of mine. Oh. Say, I see you're wearing a marshal's badge there. Yeah. Sheriff, my name is Whipple, Jim Whipple, from Fort Anderson. Lightning Jim. Yeah, and this is my deputy, Whitey Lawson. Uh, howdy, howdy. Oh, thank you. Pleased to meet you, Sheriff. Oh, and this here is Mike Matson. Uh, glad to know you, Marshal. Howdy. Uh, Mike owns a ranch north of town here. Seems like the Redskins are causing plenty of trouble, Marshal. Yes, Colonel Steele told me you'd been down to see him, Sheriff, so he and Whitey come up to have a look around. Well, if you're looking for trouble, you ran smack into it. Your damn redskins is plenty bad, I tell you. Hey, uh, Marshal, you think it might be a wolf paw? Maybe, but he ain't the only bad hombre in these parts. Well, I'm getting up a posse and going after them. Wait a minute, no, wait, hold on there, Sheriff. Trailing after the redskins at night is pretty risky. Hard telling how many engines they are in that party. Let the, let the troopers take care of the redskins. Yeah, sure, sure. I know all of that. But I got to do something. I'll be losing the well Fargo and government contract. Sure, now. Well, I think we ought to go out and have a look at that coach. Uh, come on, come on. I'll get some of the boys and go out there now. Well, all right, all right. Hey, you better come along, too, Calamity. Sure. Hey, how about you, Marshal? We already looked the ground over, Sheriff. We'll wait till you get back. <laughs> Lightning, you got any more ideas on all this business? Well, looks like we got a little work cut out for us, Whitey. Hey, you think we better go back to Fort Anderson and get Colonel Steele to bring up the troopers? Not yet, Whitey. There's some things I want to find out first. There's some questions I want to ask Calamity and the sheriff. Well, see, here's the sheriff now. What's trouble, sheriff? You look kind of excited. Sure, and you will be too when you hear what I got to say. Sit down. Tell us all about it. Now, we just went out the, the stage trail. Yeah. And when we was coming up on that burn stage, we seen Redskins. What? Yeah, we opened fire on them, and they headed through North Canyon. You followed them? Sure, sure. As far as Cottonwood goes. As 
plenty of trails up there, and then them red devils give us the slip. Well, see, why would them redskins be coming back there? Yeah, I can't answer that one. But they was there. Marshal, we got to get the troopers up here pronto. Uh, just a minute, Sheriff. I don't think we need the troopers here. You don't? Well, it's easy enough for you to say that, but you ain't got nothing to lose. I reckon I was a fool not to take up Mike's offer. Like as uh, not hold a... on, Sheriff. Uh, uh, I don't mean to pry into your private affairs, but I'm mighty interested in what you just said. Uh, you mean about Mike's offer? Yes. Yeah. He wants to buy me out. That's what he does. You turned him down? Of course I did. I ain't so sure now, though, that, that I done right. When did you make this offer? About a month ago. When the Redskins start holding up your stages? Mm, about three weeks ago. There's been one every week. When was the last time he talked to you about this? Today. Where's he now? Why, him and the rest of the boys went down to the cafe. Come on, buddy. Hey, you're Lightning. Hey, you say, well, where are you going, Lightning? Down to the cafe, Chef. Hey, but what are you going to do about them troopers? Chef, if we need troopers, I'll get them. <laughs> Kirk? Well, if it ain't calamity yourself. What are you doing in Cedarville, Kirk? And I'm asking you the same. Heard they was looking for a stage driver, and I got the job. Stage driver? Yeah. Took out my first stage today. You mean you was driving that stage the Redskins held up? Yep. But they thought everybody was killed. Well, if you believe that, Kirk, you're talking to a ghost. Yeah, but how in the name hey, of... Uh, Kirk, come on, I'll see you later, calamity. Well, of course, sir. Oh, howdy, boy. Hello. Howdy, Clemity. I reckon the sheriff told you the Redskins we met on the trail. Yeah. Say, have you seen Mike Matson, Clemity? Sure. He's over at the corner talking to Turk. I knew him in Deadwood. That's so. What's his trade, Clemity? Was a prospector until he got mixed up in some gambling trouble. He cleared out of Deadwood. Listen, Calamity, I want to ask you some questions. Sure. Come over here to the table. Come, Come on, on Whitey. <laughs> Hey, Mike, what do you suppose them Redskins was doing? I don't know, Turk. Listen, Mike, the boys is waiting for the payoff. Shut up. There's a half-breed sitting at the next table there. Yeah, he wasn't there when I come over. He's sleeping. No, no, he ain't. You just watch. What's troubling you there, Injun? So you was listening, huh? Uh, Man, huh? I'll fix him. Wait, put that gun away, Turk. He's drawing a knife on me. Let's get... Drop that knife, Indian. Uh. Get that knife, Whitey. And the it's gun, too. Your leg. Hey, what's the big idea shooting that gun out of my hand, mister? To keep both of you from committing murder. Well, what right have you got Hold to... on there, Turk. Hold on. You're talking to a United States Marshal. That's Lightning Jim from Fort Anderson. Oh, you mean Lightning Jim Whipple? Hey, what carnation's going on? Here? Where's this half-breed Indian, Sheriff? He's got a knife on me. White man drove gun first. That's a lie. That's right, Sheriff. The redskin fool first. No. Oh, Sheriff, this here half-breed was here spying. He's spying for who? Why, for the redskins that's been holding up the stage. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on just a minute. Now, maybe he was mixed up with them red devils, and maybe he ain't. But as long as I'm the sheriff, he's getting a fair trial. Come on along, Redskin. You're under arrest. But I saw that two fellow draw first. Quiet, Whitey. Let's slip out this side door. You too, Calamity. Sure. Take him away from the sheriff. Did Mike and Turk see you come out, Calamity? No, don't think so. They went up for the sheriff. Hey, Lightning, you, you think they might kill the Redskin? No, I think the sheriff sees they don't. You think the Redskin is mixed up in his holdup? No, I'm sure he ain't. I know him. Hey, you Sure. That's Indian Joe. He's a half-breed interpreter for Chief White Eagle. Yo, see, I know Chief White Eagle. Why, he's the white man's friend. Sure he is. Well, then, uh, why didn't you try to see him in there? Because right now, I think he can do more good in jail. Calamity, you say you know, Tark, huh? Sure do. And I got a little scouting job for you. Sure. What do you want me to do? Get back inside the cafe. Keep your eye on Turk. Follow him when he leaves town. Find out where he goes. I don't have to tell you what to do. Just be careful. Sure. So long, boys. So long. Good luck. Gallish <laughs> lightning. <laughs> She's got plenty nerve, I tell you. Yes, Whitey and I got an idea. She and Indian Joe are going to help us get to the bottom of these holdups. Well, no matter how this business turns out, I got to take off my hat to Calamity Inn. (laughs) 
How will Calamity Jane and Indian Joe help Lightning Jim and Whitey solve the mystery of the stagecoach holdup? Well, you'll hear the exciting climax of this thrilling Lightning Jim adventure in part two, which follows immediately. <laughs> And now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Lightning Jim and Calamity Jane. Well, Marshal, you're just the man I'm looking for. More trouble, Sheriff? No, not yet. But there will be if you don't get them troopers. Sheriff, I already told you I'll get the troopers if we need them. If we need them? Thunderation. The next thing we know, them redskins will be coming down here and burn down the town. I'm sorry, but I can't agree with you, Sheriff. Yeah. I don't savvy your talk at all, Marshal. Jeff, do you think the half-breed you arrest, arrested at the cafe is mixed up in this business? Well, it sure looks like it to me. Probably come in to see if there was any more stages pulling out. No, you're wrong. I think I can prove it. Yeah, how are you going to do that? Let's go back and talk with the half-breed. Do you mind? Well, there ain't no use of talking to him. I tried it, and he won't say nothing. Well, he'll talk to me. Well, all right, but I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. Come on, Whitey. Yeah, well, what's the worst? He's right here in this first cell. I don't trust these redskins no how. Howdy, Joe. Yeah. Glad to see Marshal. Hey, do you know this hombre, Lightning? Sure. Chef, this is Lightning Indian Joe, one of Chief White Eagle's men. Mm, Chief White Eagle? Why, he's supposed to be friendly with a white man. Sure he is. Joe, the sheriff tells me Indians have been robbing and burning his stagecoaches. Indian no do that. Me see coach on trail. When? Tonight. Tonight? Huh. Me bring party of brave from White Eagle Camp. Well, Sheriff, that explains the Indians you and the boys saw out on the trail tonight. Yes, yes, but what about the redskins that held up the coach? Sheriff, I agree with Joe. I don't think Indians did it. The Indians will take gold, but they ain't got no use for mail. And the mail bag was rifled. Well, and if it wasn't redskins, who was it? Well, it got me an idea, but we got to prove it. Uh, suffering catfish. What's the matter? I clean forgot to tell you, Lightning. Just before you came in, I got word that the Overland stage is coming over the Cedarville Trail. When? Tonight. The road out of Minersville was washed out during the last rain, and the Overland stage is coming on the Cedarville Trail. Does Mike Matson know about this? Well, sure, sure. He was in my office when the rider came in from Minersville and told me. Hey, Lightning, you think Mike is back of all this? I don't know, but I got an idea we'll find out tonight. Go where you're brave. They wait for me at Cottonwood Gulch. Good. But uh, Lightning, what about <coughs> Calamity? In, uh, she went after that third fella, and she ain't come back. Don't yet. worry, she'll be back. Now, Joe, here's what I want you to do. Now, listen carefully. Got some good news for you. Now listen, Mike, I want to tell you something. Listen, uh, we're pulling a big job tonight. But, Mike, I want to. Shut up, Perk. Wait till I get through talking. I said we're pulling a big job tonight. Now listen, how would you like to take the Overland stage, what huh? You want to take oh, yeah. Now yeah. listen. Smoke. Listen. The Overland stage is coming over the Cedarville Trail tonight. And we're taking it like we. Say. Say, who's that you got tied up there? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Mike. It's Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane? What, what's she doing here? Well, I seen her following me up North Canyon, so I doubled back and got her from ambush. She said she quit her job on the stage and was heading for Deadwood. That's a lie. She was sent up here to spy on us. 
He's a friend of Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim? Yeah. You mean the United States Marshal? Kind Marshall? of figured it might be something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's good work, Turk. We'll take care of Calamity Jane. What are you aiming to do to her, Mike? We'll be taking her with us when we take the Overland stage. And when the coach burns, she'll be in it. <laughs> Hey, boys, over yonder is the pass into North Canyon. And this stretch of trail down to the creek is where all the holdups has been, huh? Right, right. Whoever done it's been making their getaway up the canyon. Yo, mm. take your braves and spot them on both sides of this trail between here and the creek. Mm-hmm. And Sheriff, yeah. you and Whitey and me will hide behind them boulders over yonder. But like, you know, I just can't help thinking. What? Well, I just don't understand why Calamity Yen don't come back. And I told you not to worry. Calamity can take care of herself. Besides, we ain't got time to wait for her now. Overland State is due here in a minute. <laughs> hey, you know, boys, I think Whitey's got stuck on Calamity. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you fellas go ahead and laugh. I think Calamity Yen is all right. <laughs> Calamity, how you like being tied on a horse? The horse is all right, but the owner of the polecat's got mighty strong around him. <laughs> uh, uh, calamity, calamity. Yeah, I don't reckon she'll feel so good in a burning stagecoach. Now listen, boys, I want you to listen close. Yeah. Now, uh, the three stages we held up before was near the pass into North Canyon. Yeah, yeah Mike. Uh, right now listen, now listen. I know the Overland stage is coming through. But seeing as how calamity here come a spying on us, maybe Lightning Jim is aiming a trap for us, huh? I don't, I don't like that, I'm very... Well, listen, like here's what I've done, listen. I figure this time we'll cut across to the stage trail west of the creek. That's about two miles from the pass. Now, we can take the stage and make a getaway... For he knows what's happening. Yeah. Hey, that sounds hey, good, Mike. Yeah, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's all right. Hey, it's calamity. Yeah. Come back here. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. She give us the slip, Mike. Ah, uh, you fool. I told you to keep an eye on her. But she was tied up. Ah, uh, shut up. Now listen to what I'm going to tell you. See, the stage trail is right below us, you see? Now listen, Turk. You take half of the boys and go down to the pass into the North Canyon. Yeah. That is east of the creek. Uh-huh. I got a hunch you'll be heading there to warn Lightning. See. Now, if you meet up with them... Let them have us. Sure. I get you, All Mike. Right. Now, the rest of you come with me, see? We'll take the Overland stage two miles west of the creek, like I said. All right? All right, come on. Get up there. Get up there. like we got everything all set. Yeah, Joe and his redskins are covering both sides of the trail. I sure hope some dirty coyote shows up. See, si, see si somebody's coming. Yeah, just come out of the North Canyon Pass. Holy smoke, it's them. Hold your gun, Chad. Huh? That's funny. He's stopping. Hi, right huh? You've been here, Minnie. That's calamity. Oh, we got calamity. Say, where in the name of tarnation you've been calamity? Ah, they caught me up on the canyon. Huh? And the name of the tape... The overland stage yeah. had me tied up, but I got my hands loose and made a run for hey, it. Who's doing the hold-up calamity? Mike Matson and his gang. Oh, that's... By golly, she was right, Lightning. It's them. They followed me down. Yeah, but don't worry, Calamity. The Indian Joe and his redskins have trapped them by now. They're mixing it up. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> You 
Doki. Doki. Good work, Joe. Indians catch these white men near Paston Canyon. Yeah, hey, these Jaspers is dressed up in Indian clothes. Sure, but wait a second. This ain't the whole gang. Kirk, where's Mike and the rest of the boys? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Mike said he was aiming to hold up the Overland stage west of the creek. West of the creek? Yeah. He said he figured you'd be here, Lightning. Was aiming to cross off. Then these Jaspers come down to get us while Mike goes after the stage. We'll tie up these Jaspers and leave an Indian here to guard them. We're meeting that stage west of the creek, too. Here she comes, Mike. All right, boys. Now, listen. I'll give you the word. We're drilling the passengers, taking the money box, and burning the coach. All right, boys. I'll get the driver. Mike Matson's whole gang. Hmm. Here, boss man. Come on, get your dirty hands off of me, Red Star. Thought you was pretty smart, eh, Mike? Dressing up your gang like Indians. Sure, and they got more Indian gear up at their hideout. Yeah, and I reckon we'll find some of the loot there, too. And this is what that low-down skunk done to make me sell my stage line, huh? Let me at him. Hold on, Sorry. Sheriff. I reckon the United States government will take care of him in the right, proper way. And boys... I reckon we owe a vote of thanks to Indian Joe and his brave. That's way. right, Mike. Oh, no. Just remember, there's good Indians and bad ones. Just like there's good and bad white men. But this time, the Indians beat Mike and his gang at their own game. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yo, I say, I think that uh, we also owe a vote of thanks to Calamity. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. I didn't do nothing. Oh, now, don't be modest, Calamity. Boys, Calamity helped save the Overland stage, and I say we ought to let Calamity drive it into Cedar. Yes, come on, right. Go on, Calamity, get up there and start moving. Well, see, in that case, I'm going to sit with the driver, by God. Come on, get up there. Come on, get up there. And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.